Can we talk about Chekhov's gun? So basically, uh, Chekhov's gun is the, the axiom is if there's a gun on the wall and you mention it, you have to use it. If the gun doesn't go off, then you've set up an expectation that you didn't deliver on. Mm. Um, and it's a good principle. Uh, and again, it's one of those principles where it's like, generally speaking, you want to obey it. But again, look at um, No Country for Old Men. They, Llewellyn Moss is a loaded gun on the wall. And in the end, he fails and it doesn't, we don't get what we expected, but it meant something to the story. So it's like every principle, it, it, it helps us to understand like, um, the, the general principle is that if you're going to talk about something, no detail in any story should ever be wasted. You're, especially with screenwriting, you have, you wanna be as sparse as possible, you wanna be as specific as possible. So when you're writing something, you're not just throwing stuff out there. It all has to be, you should regard every single word as a kind of setup that you now have a debt to resolve. Hmm. Um, but that said, if you are going to break that rule, have a really good reason for it. No Country for Old Men is the perfect reason because it di directly contributed to the interpretation of the theme. So even like if you just want to paint, you know, like in novels, mm -hmm. I think aren't we much more apt to someone, an author is going to paint a world and yeah. maybe add little details, mm -hmm. but in a screenplay, no, you're saying don't, don't do too much of that world because it's, it's just, I it's would even say even time. with novel writing. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Cause it, I mean, it really comes down to, you know, the, the voice, the language. Um, and a lot of the times when you're setting something up, you're trying to plant seeds of something that you don't want the, ca the audience to be paying attention to because later it pays off and comes through and you're like, oh, I didn't even see that coming. But if you didn't set it up beforehand, then it feels like a cheat when it's suddenly introduced. Um, it really just comes down to really knowing the craft. It's super specific to the needs of your story. And a lot of that will depend on, you know, get it in front of other people, see if it feels like a cheat. See if it feels like you're setting something up. Sometimes if you say, you know, the laser gun sitting on the table, you're going to be like, wait, laser gun? Are we in the future? You know, and those are things you need to pay attention to. Um, and a lot of that is, you know, fine tooth combing your script and um, getting other people to read it and gauging their expectations and uh, getting, getting as much feedback as you can.